Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Mrs. S. Today we're going to be finishing up an assignment from week three. If you missed week three or forgot to keep your art, I posted the videos that you can go back and redraw your project. This week we're just going to be adding color to your art as a record of history. And we should have done something patriotic, something very simple using maybe a ruler or a straight edge. And you might also have some symbols or some um, geometric shapes that would go along with our design. Now when we're doing our patriotic art as a record of history, we're going to keep it um, red, white, and blue. You could also use a neutral black. And you can color this with crayon, color pencil, oil pastel, or maybe you have watercolor paint available to you or temper paint. When we work on this, you want to think about how am I going to organize this limited palette? So I have just red, white, and blue, and black. So I don't want to have two colors next to each other. So if I do this whole area red, I got to think, do I want to skip and make that next one white? Do I want to turn it blue? Do I want it black? So what I'm going to do is kind of go around and do each of these, every other section red. And you, you're going to want to take your time a little more, especially if you're using paint. Or even if you're using oil pastel, color pencils are going to take you quite a bit longer. Marker can show up very vibrant on these two. Hopefully I have, yep, I have just enough to keep that pattern. What you could do if you run into when you get around, if you did every other, and you end up with one back to back, just add another black line in there. And then you'll have that additional section to have red, white, red, white, and that AB pattern. I think I'm going to keep these ones white. And then what I can do, if I want to go back and add maybe a different red or do black in the inside, I don't have to stick to those true colors. I want to do black in there. I'm going to do blue in here, just like an American flag. And I'm going to go pretty quickly here, but if you want to go slow and get around all those stars, if you did stars, kind of organizing my palette. And again, it doesn't have to be true to like an American flag. I'm more worried about how does this design look in person. Now whether you're using paint or crayon, try to keep your colors vibrant and clean, getting right up to those edges. If you do um, the outlining first like I did, then you don't have to worry so much about taking your time around those edges. And then if you go back later and outline with crayon or black marker or black paint or whatever color you choose for your outline, that's fine too. So really use that white as a, a way to pop that color out of our design. I don't like that much white. I could have the stripes going around, kind of like that, kind of that uh, pattern that you would see in the American flag. But I'm kind of go back and do some red and blue, sticking to that A, B pattern. But your design is going to be different than mine, so the way you add color to it is also going to change. Another thing you can do, if you really see a lot of empty space like this too, you could go back in with just like black and add a little more um, detailed designs. Maybe I, I thought it was too simple. You go back and add simple patterns or simple, simple designs like um, you would a Zentangle. So you can go back and fill in these areas if it bothers you. If not, feel free to leave them open and bold and bright kind of showing you other ideas that you could work with. Everybody's style is a little different. As you get into fifth grade, you are developing that style and yours should start to not look like mine. You can go back in and add lines. I can use a ruler to do this. You can add other symbols. If you're really good at doing stars, you go in and do stars in one of these. Maybe you have kind of a really neat original pattern, like you zigzag, or maybe you can make fla uh, flames really well. It's really up to you. And some of us have those more detailed, small designs, and some of us will have these more open designs too. That's fine. Do some swirls. Now when you get all done drawing and outlining and coloring your work of art, don't forget to post to Padlet. The title of your work should be your first and last name. And then you should also have your classroom teacher 
or a room number if you're in person. There you are. Thanks for joining me today. I can't wait to see all of your art as a record of history work. Have a good day.